Alright guys, week 60 in the House of Horror. Today I'm going to be reviewing Hobo with a Shotgun. This was made in 2010, released in, in 2011, it hasn't been released yet. Directed and co-written by Jason Eisner, um, produced by Frank Siracusa, Paul Gross, Niv Fitchman and Rob Cottrell. Um, also written by Rob Cottrell and John Davies. The cast, the hobo is Rutger Hauer, um, everybody knows um, the Dutch actor who starred in Sin City, The Hitcher, which it was iconic in The Hitcher, um, Batman Begins, um, Blade Runner, tons of other, he's a well known name. Um, so yeah, it was great to see Rutger Hauer taking that part. Um, Slick is played by Gregory Smith, um, who also was the young um, child in Joe Dante's Small Soldiers. Um, he was also in The Patriot. Um, Abbott is played by Molly Dunsworth. Ivan is played by Nick Bateman. Chief Wakeham is played by Jeremy Ackerman. Um, and Drake, um, the evil Drake, um, is played by Brian Downey. Um, the synopsis on this is a, vig a vigilante homeless man pulls into a new city and finds himself trapped in urban chaos. A city where crime rules and where the city's crime boss reigns. Seeing an urban lands landscape filled with armed robbers, corrupt cops, abused prostitutes and even a pedophile Santa, the hobo goes about bringing justice to the city the best way he knows how, with a 20 gauge shotgun. Mayhem ensues when he tries to make things better for the future generation. Street justice indeed will indeed prevail. My opinions on this, if you don't already know this, this was um, the original, uh, the fifth fake trailer um, for the Grindhouse, um, Robert Rodriguez, Quentin Tarantino double. Um, and the four other directors that did um, Thanksgiving and Werewolf Women of the SS Machete, and they was all professional directors but this fifth trailer um, the reason why this was in here is because the filmmakers won a competition um, for their trailer to be added into the Grindhouse um, feature um, with the best exploitation trailer they won the competition so that's how it came across these guys weren't professionals they came up with this great idea Hobo with a shotgun who's not gonna who's not wanna gonna go and see and, um, a film with a name like that it is absolutely brilliant title um, and if I had to explain this movie in just a few words I would say it's like a fucked up superhero movie um, like Batman on Crystal Meth um, it's like a cross between Death Wish um, Batman and Tokyo Go Police um, if you could imagine all them squashed together and made a story out of it um, I think Brett, um, Jason Eisner and his team did a great job, although, although I think they used the neon tint a little bit too much. A lot of the shots um, had a tint over the um, actual film um, with different colours, um, some were like um, a pinky colour, some were red, some were blue, green, um, and I like that and I know they were putting that over to make it look more grind out because that's uh, originally what it was. Um, but it did get a little bit too much to start with. I did get used to it and they did use it um, less and less as the film went on. Um, so it didn't bother me that much. Um, the acting was way over the top but in a good way and very comic book like. Um, as I said it was like Batman and that's what, that's what it felt like. It felt like some type of Robocop movie, something like that. Um, Rudka Howard did a very good job as, as the hobo. Um, yeah, absolutely great. Um, the blood and go was plentiful and way over the top, which I liked. Um, similar to the um, recent Go Fest films from Japan, like um, Tokyo Go Police, Meatball Machine, Samurai Princess, stuff like that. It was way over the top where they chopped heads off and blood would spray for minutes, um, like a massive fountain and stuff like that. Um, so if you like them sort of films you will like this, if you like Grindhouse films you'll like this, um, if you like Exploitation it, just, it is just a great film, uh, I really enjoyed it. There was loads of action, it was non-stop action, um, even before the hobo stopped
started getting revenge on all these guys. There was still action where the bad guys were doing things. Um, there were some memorable kills, like a head being pulled off with a barbed wire noose um, as it was locked into a manhole cover, um, which I've never seen that before, so that was um, original. Um, there was also a guy that had his dick blown off um, with the 20 gauge shotgun what um, the hobo was wielding. Um, that was good. There was loads of kills in it, loads of violence, um, loads of gore. The gore hounds will love this, although it's not serious gore like Hostel and stuff like that. This is just crazy Japanese comic book style gore. Um, what else can I say about it? Um, it yeah, it, it was just a great movie. I really enjoyed it. Um, overall, I really liked it. Although I thought Robert Rodriguez's machete was slightly better, um, I thought if this would have had the same budget as Machete, this would have been the better film. Um, it's only because it had the star names, the cameos, big budget behind it, um, that I thought Machete was slightly better. But yeah, if they'd have thrown more money at this, although they did throw money at it, if they'd have thrown just as much as they did at Machete, this would have been the better film. So, thanks guys, I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10, highly recommended, um, you'll have loads of fun watching Hobo with a Shotgun, um, so thanks guys, check it out as soon as you can, I'll see you all soon.